With all the different music streaming services, like Pandora and Spotify, it's always refreshing to see something a little bit different. This is where Subsonic comes in for those people who need to be in direct control of the music library that they locally own. Their website is well thought out, providing you all the information you might need to know. All of Subsonic's features are available for you to check out before you get started, and I recommend you take a thorough look at this feature set to make sure that Subsonic has what you're looking for. If you don't want to stream your music directly from a web browser all the time, rest assured knowing that no matter what you use, there is an app for almost every smart device, even BlackBerry. I'll be showing you the standard Subsonic app for Android later on in this review. The web interface is very interesting once you've logged in, and even has a few themes to personalize it to your liking. I chose the black and gray theme as it's easier on the eyes. After it scans your drives for your media, you will be presented with a brilliant display of album art from random artists in your library, and the art shuffles every now and then. On the left you see a list of what's in your local music library, showing you how the music is organized by folders. At the bottom it shows you how big your library is, how many hours of music you have, and everything else you need to know. Making playlists can be a bit of a challenge if you have a very large music library like myself, but I do recommend spending the time to put some together. The music controls are a little bit small, but all the simple features you'd need, like play, volume control, shuffle, etc., are at the bottom and out of the way. Once you get used to this, it's not too much of an issue. From here you can also check songs that are in the queue and add them to playlists. Very nice. Subsonic supports most audio formats like MP3 and FLAC out of the box, and if you need help with an unsupported one, it's decently easy to set up, and you can get help if needed from the Subsonic forums. If you're using Subsonic in a home where multiple people will be connecting to it, setting up users and permissions is as simple as 123. They can upload their own music, they can download others' music, and they can also hide their own playlists from anyone else using that server. It's very keen on privacy. Final verdict on the web interface is that while it's very fast and fluid, I feel that the player controls should be a little bit larger and easier to use and navigate. Sometimes it can get a little confusing when you're trying to navigate through an artist's and some albums, and your cursor gets in the way, causing the play cue to shoot up and cover what you were looking at. This can be avoided with practice, however, but it is something that I think should be fixed. On the Android app, once you've entered your server address, username, and password, you'll have access to all of your media wherever you are. The interface is very intuitive, and configuring bit rates for mobile devices and caching is simple, easy, and straightforward. The music player itself is very simple, player controls are great, and depending on your device, it will show the album art on your lock screen of what's currently playing. You can also control the music from there without unlocking your phone, a much needed feature in any mobile music player. Sound quality is very good for the transcoding options that came out of the box. Now while there are plenty of other apps used with Subsonic, the default one you are likely to use is top notch and has very few negatives. I recommend it highly. Subsonic is not free, but it is extremely cheap. You can pay $1 per month to use premium features, or you can purchase a one year subscription for a payment of $12. If you enjoy Subsonic enough, you can pay them $100 and have a lifetime subscription. There's always other alternatives out there, but for the most direct and easy personal music streaming server, the prices are more than worth it. Or you can continue to deal with annoying advertisements and other free streaming services, and you don't even own the music. <laughs> come on. If you're looking for a music service that you have complete control over, Subsonic is definitely for you. While using a player such as Fubar 2000 or Winamp is good for local listening, when you are out on the road, Subsonic will deliver all of your media to you, wherever you are. It's time you take control of your streaming back. Check out Subsonic immediately.